Hi, welcome back. Having used a Chrome OS device for a little over two weeks now, I wanted to quickly share with you my five noteworthy tips for the official Linux application support container known as Crostini. Let's get straight into it. If you haven't enabled this function yet, you may need to check if your Chromebook is compatible. The easiest way to find out is to look for the Linux option under your Chrome OS settings. Okay, so first up is Flatpak. There are quite a number of package managers out there for Linux, and one which was suggested to me on day one by good friend Ed was Flatpak. He has been using Chrome OS for a while now, and so this was a good starting point for me to find and install applications with ease under Crostini. It has a great library of applications and installations can be removed quickly with no mess left behind. Here is the installation page for Crostini specifically. The step-by-step -step instructions are easy to follow and you'll be up and running in no time. Now you can browse the website's application pages and follow the instructions at the bottom of every page to install that application under Linux. Next up, I wanna discuss pen support in Linux applications. Unfortunately, the API for pen specific input is not supported, which means if you use the pen in these applications, you're just mimicking the input using your finger. Now, there is a workaround for some applications. This example I've got here is Zernal, and well, Zernal++, sorry, and I installed this using Flatpak. Now, what you wanna do is go to Preferences, go to Touch Screen, scroll to the bottom, and there's a workaround checkbox called Enable GTK Touch Scrolling Workaround. So enable that, close and restart the application as it's asked you to do. And now you'll see that the pen works absolutely fine. You won't get pressure sensitivity. The input lag is actually pretty good as well. I'm very impressed with that. So if Xernal++ is one of your favorite note-taking apps, no problems here. Next, I'm gonna talk about some games that launch as full screen by default, but they might look like they've crashed, but you can still hear the sound playing. Let me give you an example. The example I want to use here is Sonic Robo Blast 2, a 3D Sonic fan game, and a really good one at that. So here is what ha is happening. The screen goes blank, but you can still hear the game running. If you tap the brightness keys, it forces the display to show again. And I, I'm not sure what's happening, but the goal here is to get to the video settings for the game while you're tapping the brightness keys. So I will do that and show you. I'm going to options while still tapping these keys and I'm gonna to toggle the full screen option. Once that's toggled, it no longer blanks. It, it plays absolutely fine. Now I'm not sure how many games this is gonna to apply to, but if you have a game that's running full screen and you can hear it playing, but you can't see it, then definitely try this out. I believe the same will apply to Quake if you install that. For those wondering, I did install this using Flatpak as well. And runs really, really well on the Crostini application support. This one's a really quick tip. Now, when you're downloading files under Chrome OS, they'll go in your downloads folder. And typically you'd copy them to your Linux files if you want them to be available from your Linux applications. I'm thinking here, operating system images, perhaps if you're using virtual machines. So what you can do is simply share your downloads folder, share with Linux, it says one folder has been shared with Linux. And then if you view your file system and go to the root directory, using cd space dot dot. And if you go to the mount folder, then Chrome OS, and then my files, there is now the downloads folder mounted within your Linux container, ready to access those files without copying them across. My last tip is if things go pear-shaped while you're experimenting under the Crostini Linux application layer. Sometimes you might install an application and then launch it to only find out that the application appears in your shelf however no application appears on your screen at this point you simply want to try again and if you right click and close this application sometimes it will not disappear in this example it has closed so i can try again but the ultimate way to restart and try again properly would be to right click the terminal and go shut down linux beta this will give you a fresh chance to try again if you click terminal now it will reinitialize the Crostini application layer, ready for you to give it another go. 
If all else fails and things have gotten really bad, do not factory reset your Chromebook. You can simply uninstall the Linux support in the Chrome OS settings and start again. What you're looking for is the Linux option in your Chrome OS settings where it initially was set up and remove Linux for Chromebook and then click the remove button. This will allow you to start all over again with your Linux Crostini setup. That is all for my quick tips video today. I want to thank you all for all your support so far and I'm extremely grateful that viewers are starting to engage in the comments below. This is awesome. If you have any questions, get involved as well and please subscribe if you're enjoying my videos. I'm almost at 100 subscribers. This is the Technology signing out. Take care. You know me by now. Of course my example was going to be Sonic.